Hello, lovely to see you. Thank you so much for watching this video, which is all about the power, medicine and magic of women's circles. I travel an hour every month to sit in a yurt in Bath with Louise Press. There I'm held like a child, I can let go. And the deep sharing that takes place within a different constellation of women each time is really resonant and that's where the medicine, the magic happens. Anyway, please watch the film and do like and share with your community and subscribe to my channel. It really helps uh, to spread the word of positivity and how we can help each other. Anyway, I really hope you enjoy. nestled on the north eastern side of Bath in the Swainswick Valley. We moved here 10 years ago and I truly believe it was the land that called me to do the work to hold circles. The land is loving land. People are called to sit in circle here and it loves to have us here. We also have on a Friday afternoon the forest school here and that came Again, it was a calling for children to be here and the land wants to heal. We have the Lamb Brook that runs just along the bottom of the valley. And also we take medicine walks and things into the valley uh, and down to the stream. So we're so lucky. We have woods above. So lucky to have that here on our doorstep for us to explore and to dream into. And so when people arrive here in Circle, they've come from their busy lives, from their busy mornings, from often stressful journey here in the car. Maybe they're arriving a bit late or a bit flustered and that stepping over the threshold of the yurt into Circle and just letting the land hold them and the other than human beings that live on this land. It's like a, I'm here, I've arrived, and the land is kind of scooping us up and holding us safely. I definitely have a strong line behind me of women particularly who are calling me to do this work. So when I work with the drum, I'm calling in their energy, uh, my ancestral line and my guides and my teachers. But also to call in the elementals that are here on the land. We have a lot of fey beings here, incredible trees here, great oak down in the valley. The drum has a way of connecting me with Mother Earth, with the land, with my bare feet in the moss, in the grass. So it's talking in a non-human language to all the other beings here on this land, calling them in to be with us. Sometimes I use it around Sawain, particularly we're focusing on ancestral support. Um, also, we might do a journey with the drum to connect with our animal guides. The drum helps us to take us down from this busy consciousness down underneath into another realm of dreaming. For me, it's like the heartbeat. Mm. And it's that that's our first ever sound, isn't it? The sound of the blood pumping around our mother's body. The altar is another anchor, like the drum. I invite women and girls to bring along with them to circle a gift from nature that we can add to the altar. For them to bring them present to the season that we're in, and also to create an offering to the land and to this year, to this space. And here we have the spring flowers to represent the equinox, which we've just experienced. But then we have the four directions, the water in the west, here with the crystals and the shells, the earth in the north, uh, Mother Earth and the animal and plant kingdom. And then we have here in the east, the winged ones, inspiration and uh, the new beginnings uh, of the east. And then here in the south, we have the fire, the action, the ancestors, the playfulness, 
um, represented here by this beautiful carnelian. Oh. There's obviously a lot of earth-based spirituality within your beliefs and the way you work within these circles, but uh, do you have any fixed religion or faith path that you follow? We've got a beautiful little church here um, and I love the community and being part of that church and singing. The more I got into the women's work, I started to feel uneasy. And then I came across the Mary Magdalene Gospel, felt I'd found treasure very beginnings of Christianity was exactly what we're doing here. It was unity of masculine and feminine, a love, a bond, a balance. There was no hierarchy. The energy healing was there. The connection with the land, connecting with all that is. What is animism? So animism is really the belief in life and spirit in all things. And I love that concept. I feel really passionate about that concept and it connects me with the land which is what feeds my soul. The circles are about inviting women to come, connect with the land, connect with themselves, connect with the energies of the season, connect with the energies of the moon. At the time of the dark moons and our menstruating time is a time when we have our closest connection with source, we are at our most intuitive, it's our dreaming time. We are all equal in a circle. Everyone is the teacher. Everyone is a medicine woman. There's something incredibly powerful to be held by a group of women um, who really understands and empathize with you. It's full of wonder, it's full of magic, which brings absolute joy to my life. My role is to, to facilitate the space and to anchor everybody when they first arrive, to just help everyone ground. So tuning into heart energy, womb energy, keep the space sacred. Louise opens with something. It ripples out, it resonates with all of us in one way or another, through life, through death, through family, friends, work, everything links up in that moment. We take time to either go on a guided meditation journey or a yoga nidra type relaxation. And whilst that is happening, I then pour the tea. And actually that's often the favorite part of the journey. People will say, I love hearing that, that trickle of tea being poured. It's that feeling of being nurtured. And we often have some lovely sweet treats to help ground us, bring us back into circle. And it's just a beautiful pause and a beautiful time where um, you have a chance to sort of take stock. And I think that's very much missing in the busyness of modern life. Uh, there's also that sense of community and that sense of connection, which I think is really important. Women's circles like this offer that support, that supportive environment to find out more about ourselves because what we don't do in women's circles is fix one another, do we? Just describe how you set up the sort of rules and understanding in that circle. That's the uh, essential element. That's the magic of a women's circle. In the sharing and the witnessing, it allows for stuff to bubble up that often we're not even aware is there because she has the spaciousness and she knows she's not going to be interrupted. She knows she's not going to be judged or compared and no one fixes, no one jumps in. But the person that has been witnessed knows that they are held safely and we use a pebble or a talking stick. And once that pebble is placed back down on the earth, we know the sharing is complete and then we return to silence. You know, that physical space allows an opening of people's hearts, is what I would say. People feel very safe in there to, to share. Amazing synchronicities. You know, mm. one woman says something and it strikes a chord with every person in the room. It's, it's bizarre. Mm. That, that's the medicine. That's the medicine. So we have the magic, which is the spaciousness, and the medicine, which is the resonance. Often, as with all circles, who we're sitting opposite has the greatest medicine for us. So if something is shared by the woman sitting opposite us, it's more often than not a mirror 
for our own selves and medicine that we need. I mean, I think that's one of the most remarkable things is that every time I go to Circle, everyone says something that has a relevance to my life. And there's a reassurance. <sighs> We're all sharing this, that sisterhood that we would have had when we lived in community and we stirred our pots and we dyed our clothes. That doesn't happen in community anymore. There has been a very specific eradication of women um, being able to gather in this way, whether you think of what's happened colonially um, with earth-based practices across the world, if you think about how women have been unable to show up in certain places and do something, even if you think about the pressure that's been put on women to do all of the childcare and all of the household care, there's not much space outside of that. So I think it's really important for women to have safe spaces because we haven't had safe spaces previously. I think there's something powerful about empathy. I think women's circles are important to almost heal something that has ancestrally like lives in us as humans. But yeah, my hope is in the future everyone is sitting in circle because it's the container that's powerful. There have been times when the matriarchy has been overpowering and then it has swung. Uh, and what we want is just that beautiful unity, that balance. Talking about that now in the equinox feels so aligned and so perfect, that balance of masculine, feminine, um, light and dark, action and in intuitiveness. Louise, thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure and honour to speak with you today. Well done for all your brilliant work. And I look forward to coming to Circle soon. Mm -hmm.